Gonna be shots off the wall just to get you back warmed up again. Not to start, so we get it while you're fresh. Last one. I met Trav probably about a year ago. He reached out to me on the internet, asked if I'd come and train him. I said, sure, I get lots of requests. I always work with people that want. So when I look him up on YouTube, I said, you know what, he's got a great little channel there. Let's bring him into town, let's train him. So probably about a year ago is when I first met Trav. I often get asked that, what is Trav like off the ice? I've known him for over a year now, and with him, he's been at our house, living at our house, eating our food. He's been cooking food for us. You may not know this, he's actually a chef by training. And we've got to know what he likes, what he doesn't like, and what some of the things are that he has for hobbies. And I think you see him as a goaltender first, but actually I think he's probably as equally interested in cinematography and learning how to create drone footage, how to create camera footage, and to add it into his YouTube channel. And you know he's successful in YouTube, and I think part of it's because of the goaltending, but also because he understands cinematography and making his videos look great. Where do I think his hockey career is actually going to end up? Well, during the year that I've known Trav, I've seen great work ethic, I've seen great discipline, I've seen great hunger to learn. He's a big kid, moves pretty well, but I think at this stage he hasn't really received the type of coaching that would allow him to be a more consistent, controlled, calm goaltender in the net. You know, he's got great attributes, he moves well, he handles the puck well, and he's got great reflexes. I think once he builds some control into his game, he gets some experience playing college hockey for several years, he's likely going to be able to play in the SPHL. Is he going to be able to play in the East Coast League? No. East Coast League is full of guys that have been under contract for the NHL or under American League contract, and those are closed shops. Almost impossible to play at the East Coast League unless you're a drafted player of some sort. There's outliers or free agents, but caliber-wise, what I see in Trav is I think he could be a great pro at the SPHL level after he develops in college hockey. Believe it or not, there's one thing that I think Trav has in common with Eddie Belfour. When I worked with Eddie, I believe I probably learned more from him than I actually taught him. And I think it's the same with Trav. I've learned more from him about being a filmmaker, cinematography, and the YouTube stuff than I ever would have actually helped him. By no means do I have the YouTube stuff figured out or the video making. I'm probably a level 10 out of 100, nowhere near what Trav's like. But quite honestly, I think I've learned more from Trav than he's learned from me, just like with Eddie Belfort. Some stuff he's taught me. Specifically with the YouTube, he's taught me the importance of understanding, turning on comments, and having a thicker skin. And I think if you look at his comment section, you'll know he's got a great thick skin. He responds to people chirping him all the time in a positive way and sort of turns it back on them and doesn't get offended, doesn't take it personally. And in fact, I'd asked him about that one time. I said, Trav, you got people chirping you about your career and your path, pro hockey, college hockey, this and that. And how do you handle it when people chirp you? And he says, you know, it's all about engagement. And it's about increasing the conversation with people that follow him on YouTube. And he doesn't take it personally. And that's some great advice that he gave me that I've taken to heart. I think the one thing that's amazing about him is how he's grown the YouTube channel. And I know that he started off with it just doing highlight packages from NHL goalies. And it is what it is today, 60, 70,000 followers. And I think the reason he's grown to that point is he's really hit on the niche of understanding who his customer or subscriber base actually is. He's a guy that really appeals to the disaffected goaltenders, meaning people that have struggled in their career, people that aren't where they want to be, people that wish they could play in the NHL, people that wish they could be e-bugs. And I think at his level, that's the biggest part of goaltenders, people that have had to struggle. I've struggled, any goalie that has made it a struggle. So I think if you had to distill it down, the one reason why Trav is successful in YouTube is he understands with a subscriber base that this is all about the struggle to compete when things don't go your way and how he keeps battling even in the face of long odds. Another thing I get asked is, was I upset that he took the Vaughn gear that I gave him and decided to go back to his Warriors? Absolutely not. 
I get seven full sets of gear from Vaughn every year to give to my mentor students, so it didn't cost me anything. And frankly, when you switch gear, it can be tough. If you look at NHL goalies that change brands midstream, they typically will struggle because there's always going to be differences where you're noticing the equipment. And when you're a goaltender, the last thing you want to do is to be aware you're wearing goalie equipment. You want it to be part of your body so it's not a part of your thought. And I think mentally, Trav probably had a difficult time mentally adjusting to the feeling of the new gear, which would have been substantially different than his warrior. But am I upset about it? No, no skin off my butt. Where do I see Trav in five years? It's a difficult question, but I think if things go his way, he's gonna play college hockey for a couple years. And after college hockey, he's gonna get a chance to go play pro or semi-pro, if you wanna call it, at the SPHL level, and give it a good kick at the cat. And at the end of the day, if you don't make it, you have nothing to be embarrassed about or ashamed about. We can tell from everything he's done, he's left no stone unturned. And I think probably if hockey ends up being the end of the road for him, he's likely gonna get into becoming more of a filmmaker and get into something like that. So I think he's got lots of roads, lots of avenues he can take. He's gonna take hockey as far as he can. I think it's gonna end up being a goaltender in the SPHL. Oh, on a hard day's work. <laughs>